Hi everybody, it's me from Reno. I just thought I'd finish up what we started the other day. Um, basically, Stuart couldn't use the stuff that we'd recorded because there wasn't really much technology at this conference. And I'm sitting here, I've got a little bit of a break, and so I thought I would put the video together and put it up on YouTube for you guys so you can see what we had, and also so Stuart can see we didn't completely mess around while he was gone, although I guess we did a little bit. Anyway, we'll start by looking at uh, what we accomplished in terms of the writing objectives, and then we'll look at some video testimonials from people, although I did kind of lose one. I don't know what happened to it. And then finally we'll end up with, um, you know, I'm not quite sure what we're gonna end up with, but we'll find something. I think it's recording, let me check. Yeah, Stu. It's me. Um, I know you weren't here for this part, but I just wanted to show you all of the transferable writing skills. I think this is probably better. All the transferable <laughs> writing skills that people have learned on this first assignment. So um, let's just go over here. And uh, I don't know if you can see this. Let me put my glasses on, because I know I can't. But here, here they are. Context, subtext, analysis, thesis, conclusion, introduction, Fragment run on, uh, separate ideas, uh, comma, avoid comma splices. Um, what do we have here? Works cited, interpretation, MLA format. Sorry, that's probably going to make you dizzy. Uh, transitions, <laughs> mind mapping, um, indenting, uh, paragraphs, uh, creative writing, description, reaction, peer revisions, avoiding I, research. Um, I can't even read my own writing there. Paint a picture with uh, text, um, add voice and tone, um, attitude and subject is related to a thesis, and um, using metaphors. Okay, so this is probably a pretty good list. I'm hoping it's one that you're proud of and you can show maybe the people at your conference or just kind of watch this video and smile to yourself silently as you sit alone in your hotel room in San Francisco doing nothing but wondering where's my class and, and how, how can I get back to, to my writing class. What's that? Eat at the Pink Elephant. The pink elephant. Okay. I'll, I'll give you guys, oh, I shouldn't be talking right now. I'll give you guys a chance to say hi in a minute. Oops. I put, put, oops, I, I put, you were recording put, us. I, well, I am recording you. Oh. Sorry, I'm talking to them, actually, because we just happen to run into some random students who want to talk about their experiences in a learning community. And so uh, I just want to introduce this. Um, if you haven't met me, I'm Mike Koss, by the way. I couldn't make it uh, this weekend to your conference. I'm, I'm going to miss the seafood. I hope you're having a good time. But let's hear what students have to say about learning communities. Hi, Stuart, this is Mita. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I think that the learning community is so awesome because I like having the learning community. I learn a lot. Instead of being in a one-person class, you get two teachers, and I just like the way it is. It's so interactive, and just being in this class is really cool. That's all I got to say. Okay. All right, Stuart, it's Matt again. I'm sure you're probably super seeing my face, but one quick uh, footnote. Uh, I like how the class is meshed together with the humanities as well as the English. The end. <laughs> Still going. Hey, thank you. Oh, it's it's stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> it's I guess... And Again, Matt, I am so sorry I lost your other thing. It was really good, and it was really supportive of learning communities and just what we wanted to see, and uh, I don't know what happened. I, I guess the camera ate it. So anyway, at least we had this testimonial. Anyway, on to more. Hi, on Stuart. More. This is the best learning class I have ever taken in my academic um, uh, years here at the Front Range. It is wonderful. And thank you for doing it because it's <laughs> the best. <laughs> okay. Oh. No. Okay, go ahead. Should we look at the camera? Or? Yeah. Okay. Or however you want to do I it. I don't remember it. All right. This is called <laughs> chunking away. All right. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Crawling on the asphalt, looking all about. Because I'm chunking, away. grabbing the words, day by day. looking at them like there ain't gonna be another. Day. 
Annotating, annotating, annotating. Away. Away. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> you got one. So, uh, so what is this all about? Why are you doing this? Because I love chunking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> chunking is amazing. Yeah? And why yeah. do you chunk? I chunk words. You chunk words. And, and for what? What are you chunking? Greek words. Greek words. Yes. Well, is there a particular work of Greek words you're chunking? Um, the Anagoni words. Or, is that again? <laughs> Antig Antigone. Antigone. Antigone words. Okay, we're so chunking Antigone. Great. That's great. So, do you think learning about chunking is going to help you understand Antigone? Yes. I think it's expanding my musical horizon. Also, <laughs> I am learning a lot about chunking, too. And? And Greece. And Ancient Greece. Ancient Greece. Awesome. That's yes. so great. Yes. So, the learning community is working for you. The learning community is what it's about. Without learning community, I'd be in a dip somewhere. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. I gotta stop. <laughs> okay, now I gotta stop I this thing. I wanna see that video. I gotta see if I can play it now. Let me, let me stop this first. Does it wanna stop? Yeah, if I could. Yeah, if anyway, I could. Anyway, that's it. You know, I was going to leave it to Stuart to explain to people what chunking is and who those crazy people are and why we allow that kind of behavior in our classroom. But unfortunately, Stuart didn't get the chance. So I hope at least you enjoyed uh, what I put together and I'll see you guys on Wednesday.